Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't worry, so am I. My name's Amelia and I wanted to record my healthy lifestyle weight loss journey on YouTube. Today we'll be talking about my weight history, my current plan, my current measurements, and my goals. A little bit about me, I have always been overweight. Um, I was never morbidly obese, but I was never really a healthy weight either. I always was above where I should be. Part of this is just how I grew up and my relationship with food and my relationship with um, the diet culture and with workout culture, um, but that's a story for another time. Um, I tried many fad diets and many workout routines um, with varying success um, in the past. So I would either follow it for a while and then fall off the wagon, um, life would get busy and I'd stop working out, or I'd get tired of not being able to eat what I wanted to eat, and so um, kind of giving up on the diet side of things as well. Which is why I want to do a healthy lifestyle, sustainable lifestyle choice, where the changes that I make are going to make me a healthier person, but it's going to be something that I can carry out long term. The heaviest I've ever been is 156 pounds, um, and I'm 5'1 as my height, so if that gives you any hint. Um, 156 pounds was my highest weight, and I did manage to lose a good chunk of that in 2018. I partially, I just got really sick for a few months, and so I lost about 10 pounds that way, and then I did stick very um, loyally to a calorie counter app in which I was having 1200 calories a day or less and I was doing um, small workout routines. I believe I was doing blogilates on YouTube for a while of just doing something consistently every day um, and I did get down to 123 pounds so that technically is in my healthy BMI um, weight. Um, the BMI I don't go super off of the BMI because I know it doesn't take into account muscle versus fat, but it does recommend, I believe, between 100 and 132 pounds for someone my height and being a woman. Um, so I did manage to do that, but it just wasn't sustainable. I got to that point, um, my goal weight had been 125, and so I was super, super happy to be at 123. And I was like, finally, I can relax. and. I started cheating, started getting, you know, uh, a bunch of meals that were just cheat meals over and over, eating out a lot and um, not exercising because I didn't find it fun anymore. It got very monotonous doing the same videos over and over again. So by the time fall came around, so in spring I had been 123 pounds, in fall of 2018 I was, I had gained 10 to 15 pounds back. From that. Finally, in October of 2021, I discovered an exercise routine that I love, absolutely love, and this was a huge breakthrough for me because I was able to motivate myself to go. I found aerial arts or circus arts, so that's the trapeze, aerial hoop or lira, uh, aerial hammock or sling, and split silts. Um, and I absolutely loved it. And I was afraid of heights too, so <laughs> I just really liked it because I was pushing myself out of my comfort zone and doing things that I never thought I would be able to do. I was not an athlete back in school. I didn't exercise hardly at all. Um, and yet doing this consistently from October to 2021 to currently, and I was seeing myself as stronger than I'd ever been before. Um, whereas before I couldn't even lift myself into the air for two seconds, you know, I saw myself being able to climb to the ceiling and to invert in the air and get my cross back straddle and all these things that I never would have thought possible. So despite all of this, um, when I started Ariel, I was about 136 pounds-ish um, and 
I started gaining weight again and at first I was like oh it's just muscle and it really it really 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 was <laughs> um where I saw fat come on off of my thighs I saw fat come off of my arms um I felt better about myself um even with gaining this weight so I know most of it was um attributed to muscle um however I kept gaining weight and um some of the weight or some of the fat stopped coming off like I still saw a lot on my stomach I still saw things and then my bras started not fitting um partially because my shoulders were getting broad and my back were, were getting great muscles there but also just some extra fat on the sides was still there and even getting worse um and I ended up being 153 pounds currently um now when I was 156 pounds back in 2018 2017 um that felt a lot different than being 153 pounds now um i'll put some pictures up here to compare but when i was 156 like i could see the excess fat in my face in my arms um in my thighs um even my pant sizes were bigger back then whereas now clearly some of it is muscle and i do feel much healthier i have more energy um than i did back then but I still think I could do better and that there are some places where I need to lose weight. So for a while I struggled with what to do but with my husband's help we came up with um, an idea that would actually motivate me because motivation was my biggest thing. I already felt like I was working out enough. I didn't want to add cardio which most of my workouts are strength training and cardio would be helpful but I really didn't want to do that. Um, so we looked at um, our diet and our, what we were eating. And I realized that even though I was eating better meals, like my breakfast, lunch, and dinner were healthier than they had been in the past, I was snacking constantly. I was coming home from work and eating half a box of Cheez-Its or getting home from a workout and feeling hungry and just eating my weight and whatever we had. Um, I loved... I love food, I love eating. Um, we were also getting takeout way too much. Um, definitely my weakness of, you know, good food. So we decided that these were the areas we needed to focus on, but also how could we incentivize me to do so in a way that made it fun and didn't make me feel like I was limiting myself again like I had been in the past with those diets um, or with those exercise routines. Um, so we'd figured out the exercise part and now we just needed the diet part. So we would set up a plan that involved no snacking and limited takeout. And if I followed the plan, I would get what was called guiltless money. And I'm really excited about this because I love shopping. I love shopping, but the way I grew up, we very much had to always get the cheapest thing, had to save the most money, had to get something on sale. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it created this guilt that I had for buying myself nice things. So for my perfumes, I would normally buy like the $10 body sprays that you can get at Marshalls, um, even though a part of me has always wanted the tease Victoria's Secret perfume. I've always wanted that. Um, and it's like $80 or something for three ounces or whatever. And I just never could justify myself going and buying this perfume when, oh no, I should buy this $10 perfume, even though I really wanted it. Um, and my husband and I, we budget for things and my husband you know says like you can go out and buy things for yourself like that's fine like you can if that's something you really want like you can you can go get that but I would just have this baggage of well how much is too much how much money can I spend and you know my husband didn't have a hard like we should spend this much money on this it was whatever's reasonable to you which I didn't like that because I was like I don't know how, how much is too much and how little is too little and I don't know so with this this money that I would earn each week for following our plan would be money that I could specifically use for things that I would normally feel guilty buying. So 
I could put it towards a fancy perfume or I could put it towards a juicy couture sweatshirt set that is really extra and I could never justify myself buying it but now I can so um I'm really excited about that and I think it's really going to motivate me because um I just have trouble buying these things and this will help me feel like I earned it in a way um which I, I'm sure there's some baggage there with how I grew up with money, but again, another story for another time. So our plan was I would not snack at all. Now, down the line, um, probably like 90 days from now, we'll reevaluate and we can change some things. But for now, I really want to start dramatic and say no snacking because I feel like I can't control it yet. So healthy breakfast, the way I normally do, probably cereal. Um, I like salads for lunch. Anything healthy for lunch is fine. And then for dinner, we do get Marley Spoon uh, meal kit delivery, which we're not sponsored by them. Um, but we do enjoy them and we make two meals that have leftovers. So that's four nights out of the week we have that meal kit. And for the other nights, it will be kind of whatever my husband cooks because um, he does most of the cooking. It could be um, like a crock pot meal, or it could be like a soup that he makes, or um, really just any sort of simple meal, which I'm sure I can go into more detail in a later video with that. For drinks, um, we decided one soda a week or less, because that's another thing where when I was at my heaviest, I was having like one to two sodas a day. I was really, really into it. So we're gonna have one a week um, or less. And for alcohol, we're gonna have one drink or less or one drinking event. So if we go out and have a drink or two, that's fine, but that's it for the week. Um, tea, I can have at any point. I usually love my herbal teas. Um, sometimes I'll do green or black tea, but tea is really, really low calorie and I like having it. So we're just gonna leave that. And then I usually have one cup of coffee in the morning. We're not gonna touch that because that's very important to me. Um, I have a sugarless syrup that I use and I usually add a hazelnut creamer. I'm not gonna cut back on that. That is my coffee. We're really focusing on a healthy lifestyle and sustainable. It's not sustainable for me to give up my coffee. <laughs> um, occasionally I'll have two cups a day, so I am cutting back like that portion of it, but I definitely get my one coffee a day. Um, and then after workouts, I usually like to have a Body Armor Light Peach Mango drink or one of their other flavors. Um, so I get that every time I work out. So if I don't work out, I don't get that. And then of course, water at any time and however much I want, because water is good for you. So if I followed this plan um, with no snacking and the drink rules, I would get $20 for that week. So that's my allowance there. Um, we did have some smaller incentives that aren't as big a deal. This is the main one is follow, no snacking following that. Um, but if I did these additional things, I could earn a few extra dollars. So for example, um, for every pound that I lost, I got a bonus of $10. Um, and so that means I can only get $10 for that pound once. So if I'm 153 pounds and I go down to 150 to 151, that's $20, right? One pound, one pound. But then if I go back up to 152 and back down to 151, I don't get another $10 for going back down to 151 because I've already met that. So it's like each pound has a $10 bonus that I collect once. Because I, I know my weight's gonna fluctuate. I know certain times a month I'm gonna weigh more than before. I might be bloated one day. Weight's gonna fluctuate. So. I only get that for going down once. Additionally, if I went running or did a cardio video, which I probably won't do, I really don't like it, um, but I could get an extra, <coughs> excuse me, an extra $1 for that. Uh, if I took my dog for five walks in a week, and I usually take her for a mile walk, uh, I would get an additional $5. If I attended seven or more classes in a week, 
because um, I normally do five to six, I could earn an extra dollar. If I worked out on the weekend, which I normally don't do, I normally do it during the week, I could get an extra two dollars. So that can stack. If my seventh class is on the weekend, that would be one dollar for the week for the extra class and two dollars for weekend as well, totaling three dollars. Lastly, every time I dropped 10 pounds, I would get a big bonus of $50. Um, and we kind of made up these numbers arbitrarily. If it turns out to not work with our budget, we'll rearrange it. Or if we want to change things, um, we can, but this is just where we're starting. The no snacking gets us $20 a week, whereas some of the other ones, as you might've noticed, get only a dollar or only $2 or $5. So why is it that seven, aerial classes only get me a dollar i don't need the motivation for the aerial classes i love going and i'm constantly there um and I, I don't need any motivation there what i need motivation on is not snacking because i really want to snack and i really want that food so that's why that gets twenty dollars whereas a bonus class gets maybe one dollar we also made some allowances for social uh, so social events, uh, we will allow ourselves to have whatever is being offered at that social event. This is allowed because we're doing a lifestyle change um, and we want it to be sustainable and in life we're going to have social events where we want to participate and it might not be feasible to refuse what your host is offering for you and you know ask for a specific food or drink just because you're trying not to indulge in a second soda or something. Um, now, if we happen to have, for some reason, like four social events a week, we're not gonna have soda at every single social event, um, but we want to allow ourselves to enjoy the so social event and what's offered there as we normally would. Additionally, my husband and I usually do Starbucks Sundays where we go to Starbucks in the morning and it's a really fun weekly morning date that we do and I just, it makes my Sunday feel really good because I tend to get the Sunday scaries before the work week and it helps make Sunday nice and I like hanging out with my husband and just getting some alone time um, together in uh, the morning in a new place. So we normally get a breakfast sandwich and a coffee so we decided to compromise. We said, let's have breakfast at home, um, but still get our coffee at Starbucks. And if we decide let's not do Starbucks that week, that $4 that I would have spent on a coffee would go towards my rewards. Uh, the last exception is takeout once a month. Um, obviously there's going to be situations where we burn the food or where we just don't have time to cook or something happens. So we're going to allow ourselves to get takeout once a month. It does sound not a lot because right now we're getting takeout like once a week probably before starting this, but not only do we have the takeout for ourselves once a month, but we also have that social event. So if we do hang out with our friends and they order a pizza, that doesn't count towards us failing these parameters that we're setting up for ourselves. And when we do take out, we're going to try to make slightly healthier choices. Um, we might try to stick to under a thousand calories because things can, can get up there. We might say, okay, I'm not gonna get fries on top of my Euro this time. I'll just get the Euro or something. So what happens if I fail? I don't get the rewards money. I'm not punishing myself because I'm human and I'm going to make mistakes but I'm not going to give myself a rewards where I don't earn it either. So I'll just have less money to earn that week um, and next week I can do better. I want this to be healthy and happy and I wanna be motivated uh, to keep up with this. So I'm not gonna punish myself, but I will reward myself where I can. As for my current measurements, I am currently 153.4 pounds. I took measurements of my body at the parts where I was the biggest because I don't know how to take proper measurements like a tailor would. So at my biggest point, my stomach was 36 inches, my bust was 39.5 inches, my right thigh was 23.5 inches, and my bicep was 13 inches. 
My husband and I also thought it would be fun to test our physical strength. Um, so we did pull up some push-ups, which I only did one pull up. Um, normally I can do two to three pull ups with all my aerial training, but I was sick and tired that day because we decided to do this right when we got home from France. We got home from France on Friday and we decided to start Monday and we immediately got sick from the plane and uh, we were really weak and tired and it's a challenge, but we're still doing it. So anyway, I did one pull up and I did about half a push up. We may add a sit-up uh, measurement as well, and maybe my husband wants to add uh, a mile time, like for running. I don't want to do that, but maybe he'll talk me into it. So we'll see if we add that as well. I'll probably update the um, fitness measurements and my physical measurements once a month. Um, I am going to weigh myself every day in the morning right when I get up, so the same time in, in the morning. That way at the end of the week I can see if I've lost, what's gone on and everything. I'll probably post videos of weekly check-ins or monthly check-ins at least, and I might post videos about um, counting my rewards money and where it's going to and how I've been doing. My overall goal is to stick to this no snacking routine for about 90 days or three months. I feel like it takes 21 days to make a habit or something like that. And I'm sure 90 days is even more going to solidify that. And I feel like I could see a lot of progress there. And I feel like um, it's a good time to check in and say, okay, what do I need to change? Is this working for me? Um, what else do I need to look at? I don't have a goal weight permanently set. Right now it's 15 pounds, which would be 138 pounds for me. Um, but like I was saying, 156 on me in 2018 looks so much different than 153 does now. So I don't really know what's going to look healthy on me. And I have to kind of see that as I go. So for now we'll say 138 and we'll reevaluate as time goes on. For fitness, I'd like to be able to do five push-ups, five pull-ups, 50 sit-ups, and I don't even know what a good time for a mile run is for me. <laughs> I don't run. Um, I'll say 10 minutes. Um, I feel like that's on the low end, but I can do it, maybe. <laughs> and then for measurements, I'd like to see a one-inch loss everywhere. Um, and I'd like my bras to start fitting again. <laughs> that was a lot. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, like I said, I think I'll be posting some videos um, to allow you to follow along on my journey with me. And uh, I'll definitely be posting about where my rewards money is going and either weekly or monthly check-ins as well as um, measurement updates and fitness updates. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!